Hi everyone, Rusty back here with you at Media Mundo on this Thursday, February the 8th. We've had some heavy rain and some flooding issues today in portions of the Leeward Islands. I'll let you know how long I think the heavy rain is going to last in that area. Weather getting better in places like Puerto Rico. And I've got the full forecast for Jamaica, the Bahamas, and the rest of the Caribbean. All those details are coming away right now, so stick around. This is Medio Mundo. All right, friends, good to see you here on this Thursday again. We continue to see wet weather across the Leeward Islands as we get started. Thank you so much for liking the video. And if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button right now. So underneath this thick cloud coverage, we continue to see widespread showers across the Leeward Islands, places like Antigua and Barbuda and Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat and St. Martin and St. Eustatius, all with heavier rain from time to time for today. It's at least led to some isolated flash flooding, but if nothing else, some very wet weather. This rain continues on this early Thursday evening. It's gonna be breaking apart a little bit here shortly, and I'm not extremely concerned about additional flooding issues, but it's still gonna be fairly wet for us here, and it's just been a very wet few days across this entire area. We are looking at the live radar out of Puerto Rico. I do wanna start with what's happening in Puerto Rico right now. The good news is, is that the rain is breaking apart, and we're only left with a couple of showers, but. Uh, one of our subscribers commented that they've had some power issues across portions of the island for today. And it just always seems like in Puerto Rico, the power grid is always strained when they get a weather system coming through, be it wind or rain. So hopefully all of the island has power and hopefully we don't see any additional flooding because we have had some scattered flash flooding issues through the island but the rain is beginning to really break apart. Now we're gonna to continue to see some scattered showers through the Virgin Islands on this Thursday evening. It's not gonna be enough to cause any additional flooding issues, but you're just not gonna be completely dry in places like St. Croix as we go through the evening. And it's the same situation for St. Thomas and St. John. Yes, the heaviest rain, the more persistent rain is moving off to the east, but Charlotte Amelie, Cruz Bay could still see a passing shower this evening. A little bit more covered up right now through the British Virgin Islands, Tortola, Roadtown area, and basically all of the islands at this point in time. And, you know, there's going to be the opportunity again for passing showers here lingering into the evening. Now, again, for the northern side of the Leeward Islands here, the islands that I just mentioned, let me take the radar off here real quick and we're going to loop back up the satellite imagery. We'll continue to see at least the opportunity for a few more downpours. We've had up to four inches of rain in a couple of spots for today. Most areas less than that. And that is good news. But again, all the way towards Barbuda and Antigua, it has been a cloudy, wet, and cool day. And I can show you that. One of our subscribers sent in this video. Let me take myself off camera. This is from Cynthia Ebanks. They're on a sailboat and they're moored up there at Jolly Harbor in Anguilla saying it was a cloudy, cool, wet day. So cool, as a matter of fact, they were wearing their winter clothes. Obviously, the waters look pretty calm there. They're in some sheltered location. Cynthia, thank you so much for sending that to our mymediamundo at gmail.com email. And uh, I'll show you that, guys, at the end if you want to be like Cynthia and send us a picture or a video. But we appreciate that out of Jolly Harbor in Anguilla for today. And again, underneath this cloud coverage, we've had wet weather, and it has been on the cooler side. As a matter of fact, I can show you these current temperatures for us here, and they are in the 60s in a couple of spots. I mean, it has been a very cool afternoon. Anguilla right around 70 right now. Look at Antigua bottoming off all the way down to 66 at the hour. It's getting cool there. I mean, the upper 60s, that's it. And it's cloudy and the rain is going to persist. You get down towards Guadalupe, we've had at least some passing showers in this area. Obviously, it hasn't been as thick a cloud coverage and as heavy of rain, so temperatures are warmer in these spots. And you can see we're into the 80s here in places like Barbados, down towards Trinidad and Tobago. It's been a warmer, drier day with temperatures there in the upper 80s. But it is an idea of how cool it's been, and it's the same thing for the Virgin Islands and portions of Puerto Rico. At best, you're in the 70s. Okay, let's talk about what is going to be the remainder of the rain for us here. So that's kind of the big story. How much additional rain and how long, much longer is it going to last? Well, I'm going to slowly stair step this out. Okay, I'm going to loop it once through by hitting 
that button, and then I'm gonna pause it, and we're gonna look at this basically hour by hour for us here. And again, really focus on what's gonna be happening in the present. So, this is the model at seven o'clock this evening. You can still see that there will be some areas of potentially heavier rain gonna be sticking around through the early overnight hours. Maybe one to two additional inches in isolated spots, most areas less than that, but we do begin to push in some drier air as we get into the daybreak hours of our Friday morning, and then we're done with the heavier rain. We'll see some spottier showers kind of redevelop in this area over the weekend. There's nothing gonna be concentrated. There's nothing gonna be heavy. There's nothing that's gonna cause any flood concerns. So again, for the northern side of the Leeward Islands, uh, not a huge flood threat over the next, let's say six to 12 hours, but still some pockets of heavier rain before we finally begin to dry out of it. I'll let this run over the next five days. Again, we'll see some isolated moisture kind of moving back in as we get into early next week. But at this point in time, the big focus, of course, is just on the short term and trying to get some of this heavier rain away. Some of you have messaged me and said, hey, we actually could use the rain. It's been good. And outside of the flooding, I understand that. I understand that, again, it's nice to get some good rainfall this time of the year, but we have had some flooding issues in this area. Now, again, you get south towards Dominica and Martinique and Barbados. It's been much more isolated in nature, and that will continue to be the trend over the next several days as well. For the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao, again, isolated rain is in the forecast over the next 48 hours through Friday evening, and then it'll become much more spotty. In general, we're going to be getting to dry out a little bit here as we go early into the weekend and into next week, but still the opportunity for some scattered showers. We need the drier air in places like Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, and as I've mentioned, that's about the same forecast here to begin to dry out a bit as we move into Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Hispaniola is looking pretty good. Punta Cana and Santo Domingo, relatively low rain chances the next couple of days there. Now, one of the big stories here, and uh, I'll just go ahead and switch to this right now, and then we'll kind of look more island by island, is the fact that we're picking up our easterlies again, okay? So now we're gonna see this storm system move off to the east far enough where winds swing back out of the east, kind of gets us more into a February pattern here. The winds are gonna freshen back up again. It's gonna get a little bit more warmer and humid, but it is gonna dry out at least for a time. If you look back into the Gulf of Mexico, early next week. Here comes our next front. You can see those winds turning out of the north, and that will begin to get into places like the Northwest Bahamas as we get into early next week. So that'll be the kind of the next focus of the next storm system that I'll be monitoring. But we will, instead of having those north winds, which has brought us some cooler and drier air throughout the Caribbean, now we're back to our easterlies here over the next couple of days once the rain dissipates in the Leeward Islands as we get into tomorrow. Okay, let's talk about what's happening for my friends in Jamaica. Get you in right now and again. At this point in time, we're kind of in a lull. It's been a little bit quieter for us here. Let me switch on the visible satellite imagery in this area. It's just an easier way to kind of depict things. You can see on this high resolution visible satellite imagery, we've had some cloud coverage develop over the island. There's certainly the opportunity that we've had some rain underneath this. And let me know in the comment section below if you've caught one of those showers. It's certainly scattered in nature, but when I see this on the visible satellite imagery, it lets me know that we've had some lift in the atmosphere, at least the opportunity for some showers on this Thursday through the island. What about the rain? Well, I'm gonna slip back out to the broad view and then zoom back into my friends in Jamaica. The rain chance over the next couple of days is going to be relatively low uh, across the island. We're gonna pick up a little bit better chance for rain as we get into late weekend, early next week. There's not a day that I expect to be completely dry. So for places like Regril and Montego Bay, where, by the way, you guys had some rough surf conditions the last couple of days. I saw some video out of Montego Bay, really churned up conditions there. Obviously the winds are lighter, conditions are improving for us here, and it's not a bad forecast. It certainly has been a little bit cooler, a little bit less humid, hasn't it? Well, we'll get a little bit warmer air coming back in as our winds again pick more out of the east, and you can see, especially as we get into, let's say, Sunday and Monday, we're just trying to squeeze a little bit more rain out of the forecast. So, here is the five-day forecast for Kingston. It's just a 20% chance for showers tomorrow. I'm going to up it to a 30% chance on Saturday and Sunday. Again, 
it's not completely dry any day. We could catch a shower across the island. It's just not gonna be widespread. Monday and Tuesday, it gets better. As far as rain chances go, we're up to a 50% chance. But again, temperature's going back up. It's been quite lovely. 85 in Kingston and Portmore in Spanish Town for tomorrow. Then we're back up to uh, 89 degrees as we get into Monday and Tuesday. So it's gonna get a little bit steamier in those areas. All right, back over to the satellite view here. I wanna go back over actually to our Viz satellite imagery. Now we're losing it because we're losing the daylight, but you can see that bright white swath of heavy moisture. Uh, things have been improving in the Bahamas, and that's good news. Let's take a look at what's going on in the Bahamas right now. Uh, we've had a few showers kind of skirt Bimini uh, today, but generally speaking, it's been a dry forecast. We're looking pretty good in this area here. Uh, we'll swing on over to our HER model, and I wanna take a look at a couple of different products here real quickly. And as I do so, thank you so much for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber as of yet, uh, appreciate you doing that. All right, let's take a look at what's gonna be happening here. I don't want the vectors on, so let me get that off. This is the layer I wanted to show. And then I am going to say, let's loop it out two days. What am I showing you here? I'm showing you if I expect us to have any chance for rain in the Bahamas over the next couple of days. What you're going to see is just a little bit of moisture on this HER high resolution model spinning around the back end of that area of low pressure. I mean, it's very still clear to see that there is this broad mid-level rotation. There's just enough lift in the atmosphere to at least produce a couple of showers in this area. There's gonna be light passing showers. They're not gonna be a big deal, okay? We could get a shower in Marsh Harbor or Dunmore Town or Freeport, Lucaya in the Nassau areas over the next couple of days, but there's no significant rain coming. It's gonna get a little bit warmer too because winds will also be turning out of the east to southeast throughout the Bahamas and the Turks and the Caicos. Again, very limited moisture here to actually pull in real rain chances over the next few days. I'm gonna extend this model out here. We'll take a look at what's gonna be happening over the next five days. And just to kind of highlight, I mentioned the next cold front coming in early next week. Well, again, moisture returns with the south winds for some showers, but then it is early to mid next week for the next front, the wind shift and the next opportunity for some heavier rain and some cooler air there. Let's go back down to my friends in uh, the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, the Cancun Cosmo area. Maybe you're traveling there uh, for a vacation or you're just enjoying that area. Again, spotty showers will return as we get towards the weekend. I don't expect a lot of rain between, let's say now and Friday evening, but a few showers are possible over the weekend and then early next week. It's the same thing for Belize and Roatan there off the coast of Honduras, many dry hours and locations, relatively speaking, things are going to be looking pretty tranquil for us here. So that's kind of the broad view as far as the rain goes. We will be drying out in general the next couple of days and then monitoring that front coming its way back on through. What about total precipitation? Well, the first thing I want to do here is actually show you how much rain we could get between now and tomorrow morning. So again, this is how much additional rain could be falling. I still want you to notice that we do have this swath of heavier rain back over portions of the Leeward Islands. Again, generally speaking, I think we're just below seeing enough additional rain to cause a lot of flooding issues. But I said one to two, and the model is picking up on that. Anguilla, not as much. The rain kind of core moving off towards the east. It doesn't mean you won't see some downpours from time to time. Same thing for St. Bartholomew and St. Martin and Sela and St. Eustatius. Again, it looks like the bullseye is kind of Barbuda, Antigua, Nevis, and uh, on over towards Montserrat, Guadalupe as well. It's kind of that nice little swath here, but this is breaking apart a bit. Again, this is between now and tomorrow morning. If I take this out, all the way through five days for us here. So if I just go ahead and take this out, we'll just go to the evening of the 12th. Uh, you can see, notice that the numbers don't change much. It's because there's just not a lot more rain in the next four days. Scattered showers through portions of the Caribbean and a relatively dry forecast, at least for now, in the Bahamas. So the big stories are, again, the heavier rain through portions of the Leeward Islands at this point in time, and then that next front, that's gonna be coming in. Friends, remember, you can become a member here at Media Mundo, a supporter level uh, membership, 99 cents a month, you wanna support the channel, uh, get access to some exclusive member-only forecast videos as well. So hit that join button, we appreciate you. You can see us on all different kinds of social media. Do what Cynthia did and send us a picture or video 
at the email address, mymediamundo at gmail.com. I would love to show what it looks like in your area. We have all these other ways to follow us here across all social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, X, and Facebook pages as well. Friends, I appreciate you very much, and I'll be back very shortly with your latest forecast. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you soon right here at Media Mundo.